Rocky, 10 and 3 start to the season. That's the best for the team since the 2015-16 season, getting off to a similar start. Simply put, what, what has this team done so well to begin this season? You know what, it's, it's a culture thing. The guys from day one have, uh, have really enjoyed being around one another. Uh, they're pushing each other hard in practice. We've got really good leadership with our four captains. And, uh, and they've embraced the identity uh, of the Lincoln Stars and what it means to be a part of this family and, and this organization. Four straight wins matching the season high for the team. How do you get to five this weekend against Waterloo? It's a challenge. There's no question about it. Every time you play in, uh, in a visitor's arena, you, you have to understand it's a hostile place. You're going to have to change the way you play a little bit. And, uh, and Waterloo is certainly no exception. It's a tough tough environment they've got a lot of fans it's a bigger ice surface so for us it's uh, it's controlling what we do and uh, and making sure that our process is right making sure our work ethic and our compete level are there and and we're executing when we get our opportunities you only trailed for less than a couple of minutes this past weekend over the two games what have you guys done so well to play with leads or keep games tied up you know what I I just think it's a it's a mentality of of constantly wanting more constantly pushing to, to try to get the next goal to, to, to win the next face off, to win the next 50-50 puck battle. And, and when you're not satisfied and you're constantly looking to improve, you're constantly looking to compete, then generally good things are gonna happen. And, and uh, you know, we, we gave up the first goal on, on Friday after a really good start. That could have put us in the wrong direction, but I thought our response after that was great and kind of led to uh, a really complete 60 minute effort, rolled into another big win on Saturday. In both games, there were definitely some stretches where sustained attacks in the zone led to goals. How satisfying is that to see as a coach? You know what? It's It, it makes me proud that the guys are, are willing to work as hard as they are. And, and uh, you know, this team has a, a, a work-like blue-collar mentality. Uh, we, we know that we have to play 200 feet all over the ice. We have a very good club with a lot of really good hockey players, but we're not skilled enough to be lazy. We're not skilled enough to take shifts off or to take periods off, and and our our uh, identity is one of of compete all the time. And and not only have the guys embraced that, they enjoy it, and and they like to be that type of team. And and you're seeing a lot of success come from it. Keaton, the game-winning goal this past Saturday and the win against Des Moines. That was uh, an, an interesting one because the third line had kind of been out, was buzzing for a bit. You hop off of the bench, come on and score. Yeah. What's going through your mind as you hop off and you kind of see the puck coming your way? Yeah, so Klaus uh, makes a great ozone change. We always try to hem the other team in with uh, a full offensive shift and try to get uh, fresh guys on the ice. So I get on, I kind of see mess uh, at the high, uh, high uh, circles area, and I see... Uh, we have that connection, so I dive down and have a little patience, pull it to my backhand, and end up finishing it. Did you have to call for the pass? Was he just aware you were there? I think we just locked eyes, and I think we both knew he was going to give it to me. How crazy is that just hopping into a situation yeah. like that? You're first off the bench has got to be just rushing to get over, I yeah. imagine. Well, when I, when I see him uh, going high, I was, I was really excited. I really wanted that puck, and I'm really glad he found me. It was an awesome play. Yeah, and it worked out really well, and you, of course, go up to center ice, you give the salute on yeah. military night, take me through that one. Just in the moment, or was that something you had maybe yeah. cooked up? Yeah, well, uh, shout out my roommate from last year, Yu Sato. He actually had, I think, a hat trick on military night, and one of us sellies was the, the center ice salute, so I had to do it with him. Had to do it again. <laughs> it's, a, it's been a great start to the season for you guys, 10-3 and three right now. What do you think's been the biggest reason for why you've come out so hot? I think we've been uh, really good offensively. I think we're producing. Um, we've been out shooting teams recently, which I know we struggled with uh, kind of in the mid portion of our season thus far. Um, but yeah, we just got to keep the ball rolling, um, carry momentum and keep having great games. What's a big thing you have to do this weekend against Waterloo that maybe you need to improve on or you just feel like this is a key point to success? Sure, I think um, our D zone can continue to improve. I think if we can become a shutdown uh, defensive team, then we can, we can just end games by not allowing the team uh, to score against us because at the end of the day, whichever team has more goals wins the game. Jersey auction after this past Saturday's game. How fun was that? Yeah, that was fun. Your teammates and it was good to see. Involved. Yeah, it was awesome. We do it for the fans, and I'm really glad they enjoyed that night.